The first step is to gain access to the battery. Convertible batteries are located in the trunk on the passenger side. Lift up the middle panel and then you should see two tabs. Use a flathead screwdriver to remove the two tabs. Mine are long gone. And then pick up this plastic trim piece and you'll see the battery right there. Step two is to test your battery with the car off. Uh, grab your multimeter and set it for double digit volts. In this case, mine is 20 volts there on the right. Place the black or negative lead to the negative and the red or positive lead to the positive and hold it there. In an ideal scenario, you'd read 12.6 volts. That's a fully charged battery. BMW says anything less than 12.2 is a problem. Mine is obviously a problem. So I now know that my battery is probably no good. What I want to learn is if my alternator is also no good. Um, to do so, I know that the alternator should make a charge of 14.4 volts when the car is running. So start your car and let it run for about a minute and then repeat the test carefully in the exact same way that you did. Um, anything over about 14 and your alternator is probably working okay. So I now know that my battery is no good and I'm going to remove it and replace it. The first step is to turn off the car if you had in fact left it on. Um, then disconnect both of your battery leads starting with the negative and then going to the positive. Once you've disconnected both leads, there's a screw, a Phillips head screw, toward the rear of the battery. That screw holds a bracket which holds the battery in place. There's the screw right there and there's the bracket right there. And the last thing to do before pulling your battery out is to disconnect the vent tube which is toward the front of the vehicle located right there. Go ahead and remove your old battery. Be careful, they're usually pretty heavy, but they do have handles. And grab your bracket because you're going to need it for the reinstall. The next step is to install your new battery. Uh, the first thing to ensure is that you have the correct size battery for your vehicle. Uh, next, ensure that you install it properly with the front, uh, the positive end toward the front of the vehicle. Um, after you've installed it correctly, you want to go ahead and place the battery vent tube, which is toward the front of the vehicle also. And then on your battery, on the plastic piece, you should have another cap for the tube on the back side. Once the battery vent tube is installed and the cap is installed, go ahead and slide the bracket down. Usually you need to push the battery as close or as forward to the front of the car as possible. When installed correctly, the bracket should be flush against the BMW housing, denoted by the red lines, as well as flush against the battery, the green line. Once it's flush against all those things, you can reinstall by simply screwing in the screw. Go ahead and connect your positive lead and tighten, and then connect the negative lead and tighten, and notice that when I connect the negative lead, um, there's active power and the light in the trunk comes on. Once that's all tightened, reinstall your trim and enjoy your new battery.